I did, Abby, and police say many women in, in prostitution are often victims of human trafficking. Now, with more than 30 arrests in this sting, they say that it's important to continue to fight this. A lot of these girls are victims of the sex trade. They are people who got into it before they were adults and ended up trapped in it. So it, it gives us an opportunity to get them out of that trade, rescue them from that, especially if we can find them while they are still juveniles. Oklahoma City police say this prostitution sting was three parts. One of the operations was street level along South Robinson. Another one was uh, based uh, hotel based where people are responding to ads online. And the other one was at a truck stop. Police used officers and ads as decoys and even had the help of a trucking company during this operation. Truck stops uh, sometimes have prostitutes uh, hanging out at them. Uh, Fry Miller Trucking was uh, kind enough to loan us some semis and so our officers could go out there. OKCPD okay, says some of the women involved in these stings are victims of sex trafficking. We're thankful for our law enforcement partners who recognize that sometimes people in these operations that they recover are victims rather than criminals. Melissa Ike with the Dragonfly Home works to help those victims. That includes everything from having basic needs met. That might look like getting um, trauma-focused therapy, medical care, legal assistance. OKCPD okay, hoping these stings discourage prostitution in the future. You may go out and you may find a prostitute or you may find a police officer and end up in jail. It's also important to note that soliciting a prostitute, when you're soliciting someone for the purposes of sex for money, that is now a felony crime. Police tell us they plan on holding more operations like this in order to put a stop to human trafficking and prostitution.